You're the first person from Ireland I've talked to. So we've got someone to talk to from my home country. Yes, what part of Ireland are you from? I, I'm not sure, but I, I know it is. I know it is Ireland now, though. So I was, I'm not sure where. Well, I was talking to somebody before I came, and I was saying I was coming to talk to you. Yeah. I'm terribly impressed. But you see, where I come from, you'd be called Mahe. 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 Mahi McConaughey. Mahi McConaughey? That's what you'd be because... Mahi McConaughey. Uh, you'd okay. How are you, Mahi? I'm doing, doing, doing well. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really... Lunatic to the marvellous. Pardon? That's it. Lunatic to the marvellous. <laughs> There's a lady in Ireland that'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That was one of her phrases. Rasher and Grand. Rasher and Grand. No, Asher and Grand. Asher and Grand. Actually, like, actually, I'm Grand? Yeah, Asher. Asher. Asher and Grand. Asher and Grand. Okay. And that's kind of like, I'm not really Grand, but... Irish, so I can't complain. Okay. okay. Heard. Anyway, let's get to Interstellar. Yes. Oh my God, what a film. I find it very hard to actually ask you a question because there's just so much in it and I need to go back and see it about right. three or four times. But it's a huge story. How did you find your character and all that immensity? Yeah, good question. Um, I had to get really personal with it. Meaning... I had, you know, I, I want to go into a film and I want to go have a personal experience, no matter how big. And this is the biggest thing I've ever been a part of. And the expanse and the epic size, the scopes, the sets, the Iceland, the Calgary, everywhere. So I had that question too, boy, I don't want to get lost in this thing. I need to have an experience. Um, I had to get very personal with it. You know, we had talked, Chris and I had talked about Cooper being the everyman. And I was like, well, who the hell's the everyman? Yeah. That's you know, almost no man at all. Yeah. You know, so I had to get very personal with it. Um, Obviously, there's things I learned about being a pilot. There's things I learned about the science, the theoretics of it uh, that I had to study. But other than that, I had to really ask how I felt about being a father, how I felt. How would I feel if I went to school? And the school's telling me my kid is not going to be accepted to a certain college, and he's 15 years old. Um, um, yeah, so I just uh, sort of tapped into the explorer and the discovery side of my own adventure. So. And do you think... That, that you find that process easier because you are a father? Like before father, right. you think it would have been easier? Or? I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I think I would have had to rely on my imagination. I think I could have done it before I was a father because a father is what I always knew I wanted to be anyway since I was a, a wee kid. Um, but I've got, I've got obviously some practical experience yeah. with it, you know? Yeah. And we've all, anybody who's been a parent, we've all had those, those, those awkward goodbyes, those hard goodbyes. Yeah. You know, but I've got I've got no no trouble sort of uh, understanding and, and a love and commitment to a child. Now. Yes, you are. We'll find a way. We always have. <laughs>